Hello everyone, I'm Bobble the Bard and welcome to my Christmas story, The Wizards Save Christmas. Quiet now children, sit still, listen hard and be amazed by the stories of Bobble the Bard. A bard, by the way, tells a fantastical story of heroes, dark wizards and battles so gory. Christmas at the Steel Cauldron is their favourite time of year. They put up decks, spend time with friends and share the Xmas cheer. One Christmas Eve, the wizards were sat round their log fire when once again the booming voice would land them in the mire. Steel wizards, you must assemble. This time it's really bad. The Dark Lord's stolen Santa. The children will be sad. I need some of you to find him whilst the others do his task. I know it's Christmas Eve and all, but that is why I ask. The voice suggested Basil, with his beard and rotund tum, would make an excellent Santa who'd even fool his mum. With this, the wizards jumped up, determined and brave. Deliver all the presents we shall, and Santa we will save. Basil shouted orders, whilst dressing all in red. Nur and Joe find Santa, I'll deliver gifts with Fred. And with those parting words, he jumped into the flue, saying, I'm going to Greenland, I think that you should too. So one by one, they followed him into the flames now green. The Dark Lord they'd beat, rumble his ruse and stop him being mean. Ready to rescue Christmas, to Santa's workshop they all went to find out what had happened and consequences help prevent. On arriving at the South Pole, Basil ran off to the sleigh. Come on, Fred, hurry up, don't dither and delay. Fred grabbed his wand and waved it. Give me presents in a sack, a flash of light, and magically they appeared in the back. Basil grabbed his magic timepiece and held it in his hand. We'll need to use this beauty to reach the kids in every land. This is also how Santa does it, stopping time to get his own way. You can't be surprised he does so much in just one single day. Basil and Fred toured the world, visiting every well-behaved child, whilst Noah and Joe wrapped up warmly and ventured out into the wild. They found some suspicious footprints and followed them into the woods as Basil and Fred circumvented the earth and delivered the children their goods. The steps led into a clearing that was pitch black and cold as well. Lumus, they said, and flicked their wands to cast the illuminating spell. Lights shot out and they could see a building by the trees. They tried the door, but it was locked and they hadn't got the keys. No prob, said Joe. It's just a lock. It'll open with my wand. He cast a spell. The door stayed locked. He couldn't break the bond. At that moment, they both realised it had been sealed by a dark wizard. Santa must be locked inside whilst they were in this blizzard. Then they heard a rumbling and the ground began to shake. They turned around. Ogres slept. That's better than awake. Around one's belt, there was a great big key along with several more. The wizards knew that one of them must open up the door. Wingardium Leviosa, whispered Noah, to let the sleeping ogre lie. There was a slight jingle jangle, but the keys began to fly. Over to the wizards, and Noah quietly cried, Hurrah! With these keys we will surely get inside. They crept over to the door and gently turned the key. The lock gave way and they shared a look of glee. In the corner of the room, something was tied onto a bed. It had a great big bushy beard and dressed head to toe in red. 
It's Santa, cried out Joe, and rushed into the hut, not noticing the bad wizard, who shot a spell onto his butt. Ow, screamed Joe, that isn't fair, you've really hurt my bum. The wizard snarled, next time I'll kill, I suggest you turn and run. Noah raised his wand and ran in at a canter. We're going nowhere unless we leave with Santa. The dark wizard spanned to Noah and turned his back on Joe, who shot him on the bottom. That'll teach the so-and-so. The wizard screamed and span around with anger on his face. So Noah shot him on his bum and he vanished with no trace. The steel wizards untied Santa and sneaked past the disgusting ogres. One drooled when he snored, whilst in his sleep another ate his bogus. They arrived back at Santa's grotto, but he looked forlorn and sad. Oh no, said Santa, it's all gone wrong, everything's gone bad. Thank you for my rescue, but my mission has been failed. We didn't deliver the presents because the baddies had me jailed. If the children stop believing, then my magic will be gone, and the Dark Lord, he will have triumphed. Evil will have won. At that very moment, with a blinding flash of light, a sleigh came speeding into view, pulled by Santa's reindeer flight. Santa looked astonished as driving his favourite sled was Basil dressed as Santa next to an elf called Fred. They pulled up outside the grotto, too much cheering and applause. Ho, 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 laughed Santa. Merry Christmas, said Basil Claus. Basil loved being Santa, and I must say, was rather good. So Santa agreed that every year, dress up and help. He could. Merry Christmas, everyone.